This all seems like some very convenient timing, doesn't it? With the previous issue of Koro Koro teasing legendaries, it would make a lot of sense for the names of these legendaries to be leaked right now. However, before I get into this, I just want to advise you guys to err on the side of caution because we have had so many fake leaks thus far, and this leak is far from confirmed despite what many people out there in the Pokemon community are saying. Anyways, remember back when Pokemon Sun and Moon were first leaked? For those of you who don't remember, let me give you a short reminder here. So basically the way Pokemon Sun and Moon were first leaked is via trademarks. Before Nintendo put out the Pokemon Direct announcing Pokemon Sun and Moon, they actually filed trademarks for the games which pretty much clued us in on the big announcement. And it turns out, we've pretty much got the same situation here with the legendaries for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Specifically, it was recently discovered that trademarks were filed for two creatures that sound eerily like the legendaries for Pokemon Sun and Moon. The names of these two creatures are Solgaleo and Lunala. I'm sure at this point you guys are thinking to yourself, Roshank, why aren't you freaking the hell out? We just got the names of the legendaries for Pokemon Sun and Moon leaked. Well, unfortunately, as much as I wish that were the case, things are much more complicated. First of all, this trademark was not actually filed by Nintendo or Game Freak, but rather some other lawyer, which is sort of sketchy. In the past, trademarks have pretty much always been filed by Nintendo or Game Freak, so to see these trademarks filed by some random lawyer is just a little bit weird. Also, supposedly these trademarks were filed back in February, which makes the timing a little bit weird because it would have made sense if the trademarks were filed now, right after we got the box art and the legendaries for Pokemon Sun and Moon teased in the last issue of Koro Koro, but for it to be filed in February just seems a little bit weird with regards to timing. Even still, I do think there's a reasonably significant chance that this is legitimate. In fact, I would say the chances are pretty much split right down the middle, and I'd say they're around 50-50, so if you asked me to take one side, I really wouldn't be able to. Filing a trademark is not necessarily an easy process, so that makes me think that the trademark itself is legit. Now whether that trademark is actually for Sun and Moon or perhaps for some other game, I really can't say for certain, but there is some clear resemblance between the names for these legendaries and Pokemon Sun and Moon. Specifically, the legendary names have the words Soul and Luna in them, which are clear references to the Sun and Moon respectively. So there's definitely some merit to the notion that these leaks are indeed legit, and that the names for the legendaries have indeed been revealed. All I'm trying to say is to be cautious with this information since you really never know. Well alright folks, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. As always if you enjoyed be sure to drop me a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more Pokemon videos in the future. And of course be sure to let me know your thoughts on these leaks, do you think they're fake like I potentially do or do you think that they're legit? Otherwise I hope you all have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.